Great heavens to Betsy, Patricia, there's plenty of time. Can't a fellow be allowed a few moments of peace to read a chapter of Sherlock Holmes and enjoy his chocolate frog? <laughs> Look, I'm not even having a lunch break. There's too much paperwork. Now, if you don't go to the bank and renew the standing orders, they'll repossess the telly. Well, that'd be no bad thing. It's all rubbish anyway, nothing but mindless escapism. <laughs> And Sherlock Holmes is mindless escapism, I suppose. Sherlock Holmes is literature. <laughs> if it is also escapism, then it is good, solid escapism, with no game shows or swearing. <laughs> Rag week is a trying time, Patricia, and I think I might be forgiven for wanting to dream again my boyhood dreams of foiling the machinations of the Red-Headed League. <laughs> well, we none of us get what we want, do we? I know I don't. No, I suppose not. It must be a dull business for you, Sergeant, being attached to a creaky old plodder like me. It weighs on me, you know, it does. Sometimes I imagine myself doing something splendidly heroic to make you proud of me. Proud and happy. You could make me proud and happy, Raymond, by going to the bank when I asked you and occasionally giving me a damn good rogering. <laughs> Oh, dear. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Constable Gladstone, um, Sergeant Dawkins and I were just discussing that fellow Ring. Roger Ring. <laughs> uh, and we were just saying, um, well, how damn good he is, basically. <laughs> damn good Roger Ring. <laughs> Isn't that right, Sergeant? Yes, that's right, dear. But we see so little of him these days, don't we? <laughs> or indeed his Swedish cousin, Bonk. <laughs> um, what do you want, Glaston? What do I want? I don't know. <laughs> I heard nothing, sir. It's none of my business. Well, I think we got away with that one. Just don't forget to go to the bank. 